It is no secret that implementing a car mechanic in Unity is quite complicated. I thought that it would be nice to try and make a more simplified approach to implementing this mechanic, since it is not always necessary to have an ultra-realistic and very difficult to make car. So to start, we need to create a new empty object and name it to car. This object will basically be what moves the car. Next, we will move the camera under this object and add the body of the car, which will be the part that actually turns and under it we will add the car model and the wheels. On each wheel we will add a sphere collider for the wheels to collide with the ground. And now back on our car object we will add a rigid body component and set its drag to 3. And we will also create a new script called car controller. In this new script we will reference the rigid body, the car body and the four wheels. In the update function we will update the velocity of the car and spin the wheels if W is pressed and do the same in the opposite direction when S is pressed, but with less speed. Now back in Unity, after assigning the wheels and the body, we can see that the car can now drive forwards and backwards. Before we make the left and right mechanic, we need to first add a few things in Unity. Under the car object, we will add three empty objects called right, left and straight, and set the transforms accordingly. This will serve as pointers for the car body to turn. Now back on our script we can reference those new objects we created and in the update function if A and W is pressed, since we want the car to turn only when forward is pressed as well, we rotate the parent object and we lerp the car body to the left's object rotation. And finally we apply additional velocity to the car body's forward vector and subtract velocity from the parent's forward vector. Then we simply do the same thing for turning right and with that, after assigning the new transforms, we have all the functionality of the car working, but we can still add some more things to make it better. So to start, back in Unity, we will add 4 empty objects located on the down sides of the wheels and add the trail renderer component on all of them and adjust the width and create a new material for them. Now on our script we will reference the four trail renderer components and in the update function we will check the rotation of the car body and if it's more than 15 or less than minus 15, which means if the car turns enough, then we will change the emitting bool on the trails to make them activate and deactivate. And finally we can add two audio sources on the car object and reference them in script. One will activate when forward is pressed to make the engine sound and the second we will put in the trail checks to activate when the car drifts. Now after assigning everything our car is fully functional. I will be leaving the assets used for this project in the description, feel free to do whatever you want with them. That's all for now, until next time.